Meanwhile, the federal government has reacted to social media giant Twitter, deleted the president's tweet referencing the civil war and threatening southeastern agitators. Reacting to the development, Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, accused Twitter of double standards, stating that while the social media site has conveniently ignored inciting tweets by indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader Namdi Kanu and his cohort, displaying the same biases it did during the NSAS protest and riot when public and private property were being looted and set on fire, it finds Buhari's tweet offensive. Twitter may have his own rules. He's not a universal rule. If Mr. President, anywhere in the world, feels very bad and concerned of a situation, he is free to express such views. Now, we should stop comparing apples with oranges. If an organization is proscribed, it is different from any other organization which is not proscribed. Two, any organization that gives directives to its members to attack police stations, to kill policemen, to attack correctional centers, to kill warders. Are you not saying that Mr. President does not have the right to express his dismay and anger about that? We are, we are the one guilty of double standards. I don't see anywhere in the world where an organization, a person will stay in somewhere outside Nigeria and will direct its members to attack the symbols of authority, the police, the military. Especially when that organization has been proscribed. By whatever name, you can't justify giving orders to kill policemen or to kill anybody you do not agree with. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.